Hello everyone and a warm welcome to all of you. Advances in AI, automation and connectivity are giving rise to a wealth of new opportunities to improve road safety. But capitalizing on life-saving technologies on a global scale will demand extensive collaboration supported by a diverse range of expertise. Again, demonstrating why partnerships receive such emphasis in the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And that's why ITU's partnership with UNECE is so important. UNECE provides a global regulatory structure on vehicles and road traffic, while ITU supports global advances in digital technology. Our longstanding partnership helps ITU in developing international technical standards and communication regulations that are aligned with the priorities of vehicle regulators. As our latest initiative in this arena, ITU has launched a new expert group on automated driving with our collaboration on ITS communication standards. The group aims to determine the requirements for all new cars to be sold from 2032 onwards to be equipped with communication technology for safe automated driving. It will support the UNEC Task Force on Vehicular Communications that aims to establish a global structure for how vehicles communicate, initially with one another, and potentially later with the surrounding environment. Our expert group held its first meeting last week, and we will learn more about what they've done, their ambitions during this symposium. I want to thank the UNEC Executive Secretary, Tatiana, for the productive collaboration that we've built together. We're grateful for the enduring support that we enjoy from John Todd, the UN Secretary General Special Envoy for Road Safety. Together, we're supporting cohesion in the evolution of technology, business, and regulation. Bringing safe automated driving to every region of the world is going to require sustained investment in the technology and sustained investment in public-private collaboration. The community that gives life to this symposium continues to demonstrate the necessary commitment. And I really want to thank you and I applaud you.